Hi, Derek Moot here, Professor of Plant Science at Lincoln University and I'm at our dryland farm Ashley Dean on the 2nd of December 2015 after what has been a miserable spring and I say miserable in terms of the rainfall that we've had. We've essentially had no rainfall through September, October and November so our three months of production are finished. The dry race that we're looking at is indicative of all of the grass-based pastures on Ashley Dean. There is no feed available. 2nd of December, so we lambing was in August, and um, really we have, have had to destock most of the farm now because there isn't any feed supply available at all. If you don't have moisture to recharge the bucket um, of water, the soil water, then you don't actually get any more growth. And for the second year in a row, the summer, or sorry, the spring, um, Rainfall has been limited and well below average and many of the farms on the east coast of the South Island are experiencing a very similar um, situation with, with virtually no feed available to them. If we just pan to the right um, and have a look across we can see our, our grazing experiment has been destocked as well. There's a little bit of a green tinge in the background and that's a little bit of regrowth of some of the lucerne paddocks in our lucerne grass um, versus loose, straight lucerne um, experiment but all of those have been destocked in the last week of November there's essentially no feed left in those. One of the interesting things about an established lucerne root system is on a dry soil it will extract the water twice as quickly as when it's first establishing so the water is used based on the demand so the the atmosphere is demanding moisture and the um, the water is being sucked out of the ground at twice the rate it was when that plant was establishing. So we can, we've seen water extraction on this farm of about 30, down about 30 millimetres, 35 millimetres per day from the established lucerne stand. So they run out of water first. If we pan to the left, come back across the race and have a look at the um, establishing stand, we'll be able to see how you can stagger a little bit of feed supply. So this was an, a stand that was established this spring and because it's establishing its root system, it's actually still got some moisture to, to be able to tap into. It's only going down and extracting at about 15 millimetres per day and so that extraction front or the rate at which the roots are growing is slower than the established stand. So we've got moisture still there for that plant to be able to use and therefore it's regrown after it's grazing and there is some more feed in here. So it's good to have um, stands on your farm of different ages and get an, those that you established in the um, spring of this year, so this one was put in in October of this year, it's actually still got some moisture and still providing some feed for the ewes. The lambs have essentially been um, weaned and they've either been sent to the works and, and have gone off prime or some of them will have had to be sold as store. But that's it, that's Ashley Dean, three months of growth and that's it for the season. Now in some years we could have actually continued to have rainfall through the spring and we wouldn't be seeing this dry parched looking pasture. We would have still been grazing and stocked on our experiments right up until the end of December and sometimes into January. But the farm looks more as though it was it's February or mid-summer um, right now at the beginning of summer. So a very dry spring and one we've had to cope with.